Let's now look at wall angels. Wall angels are a great exercise for promoting shoulder and scapular coordination. Now, when I say shoulder, I mean shoulder muscles like the deltoids, the lats. We're talking about muscles that produce movements at the glenohumeral joint. By scapular, we're talking about the shoulder girdle. These are muscles that produce movements of the scapula. Obviously, the middle traps and the rhomboids retract the scapula. And a lot of times what happens is there's discoordination between the shoulder girdle muscles and the glenohumeral muscles, that is the shoulder muscles. And so what happens is when there's discoordination, you can end up with pain. So one of the things we want to do is we want to get these muscles working together as much as possible. And that's where wall angels comes in. Wall angels are done by standing with your back against the wall. Now, when I say your back against the wall, I mean really the shoulder blades. The low back does not need to be in contact with the wall. Really just that shoulder blade region, the upper back. Okay? Also, my forearms are going to need to be in contact with the wall. Okay? So here we see that. Forearms going against the wall. The big thing here, it's not just making a snow angel against the wall. I need to hold my scapulas in retraction the whole time. So you're doing a scapular squeeze here for the entire range of this movement. It's not a particularly comfortable exercise. And what you'll often see people do, you'll see pictures on the internet, they're going all the way up to the top. That is not where you're going to start with anybody. You're actually going to start with the arms down here where I started and there is no need to go up all the way. You need to really retrain the scapular retractors to work in conjunction with the glenohumeral muscles before you go up any higher. So again while standing with your back against the wall retract the scapulas and hold that throughout the duration of the exercise and then you're just going to abduct the shoulders like you're making a snow angel against the wall. Again while maintaining scapular retraction. When you get to the top, you can hold for a few seconds at the end range and then slowly return to that start position. Now, one thing you can do is you can have the person with their occiput against the wall as well. However, for a lot of people who have some excessive kyphosis, I've certainly got a little bit of it, it's gonna be really hard, if not uh, unproductive, to keep the occiput against the wall. So instead, if they can't do that, you can have the patient do some cervical retraction as well. Not only hold a scapular retraction, but also a chin tuck, a little bit of cervical retraction okay, while they're doing this movement. Now in terms of dosing the wall angels, you can start as low as 10 of these, but really you want to work up to anywhere between 15 and 20 of these. So a decently higher repetition number, or you can time it and have them do it for a minute, let's say. So again, wall angels are really good at promoting coordination of the glenohumeral muscles and the shoulder girdle muscles.